All right, let's give you a hurricane update on Hurricane Danny. This is Hurricane Danny right here, up to 115 miles per hour. It looks like the eye wall just closed up a bit. It looks like it's getting some shear from the left side. Now let's go take a look where Danny's going. It looks like Danny is headed toward Puerto Rico. If it continues on this continually northwest path, it could just braze the Dominican Republic, go up through Cuba, and maybe even hit South Florida. Though, it looks like it's beginning to weaken, so according to the Weather Channel, this storm will probably be downgrading. to the National Hurricane Center. Town winds as high as 111 knots at 12,000 foot flight level. And the surface wind estimates from the steep frequency microwave radometer as high as 104 knots. It also reported a central pressure of 974 millibars. Based on this data, Danny reached 100 intensity at that time. Since then, the eye has disappeared in satellite imagery and the cyclone is showing signs of being affected by southern westerly vertical wind shear. The initial intensity of 100 knots for this advisory based on expected lag between the decay of the cloud pattern and the cyclone weakening. That being said, this intensity could be generous. The initial motion is now 295.9. The subtropical ridge north of Danny remains weaker than normal due to its deep layer trough over the western Atlantic. This trough is expected to lift northward during the next couple of days, allowing the ridge to build westward and strengthen. This evolution should cause Danny to turn more westward with some increase in forward speed. The track guidance is in a good agreement with this scenario and forecasts Danny to be near the Leeward Islands in about 72 hours, near Puerto Rico and the Hispaniola by day 5. The new forecast track has a noise level nudge to the north of the previous forecast and is best agreement with the other models. Danny has likely peaked in intensity based on the signs of shear in the cloud pattern. Stronger upper wind present west of the cyclone and abundant nearby dry air. Although it starts from a higher initial intensity than previous forecasts, the new intensity forecast still calls for Danny to weaken below hurricane strength at about 48 hours. After that, the system should continue to weaken as it moves near or over the Greater Antilles in close proximity to the upper level trough. 